Previously on AI the Somnium Files. Try talking with her. Sure thing, boss. <laughs> Got us some sock puppets. <laughs> Hi, Masuki! How you doing? I heard you saw your mom get murdered recently. That's a real bummer. You know what I like to do when I see my mom get murdered? I like to sing a song about football. And then a horse puppet comes out. Dad, is this the motherfucking mention football? Football! Dante, stop! Stop! I can't! I can't! The puppets have developed a mind of their own! Motherfucker! Yo, my bitch now! We're playing football the rest of the game! Ah! And now back to AI the horny guy. AI the horny guy. AI the horny guy. Boobies rule. AI the horny guy. Would you like to touch my man's nut? Boo, 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 boo. AI the horny guy. Pervy Dante incoming. AI the horny guy. Hey! Sneak up B. Back with some more AI the Somnium Files. When we last left off, holy shit, uh, Reg is dead now too, god damn. Like a matter of just a couple of days, Mizuki's parents are all by their freaking dead. Jeez, who the hell do they piss off? <laughs> god, some kind of mafia assholes. But anyway, I like, uh, I like Mizuki so far, mostly, even if she is kind of a little asshole <laughs> to Tate for seemingly no reason yet. I don't, I just don't have that reason, honestly. I'm sure there is a reason, but it just, I haven't seen it yet, right? She's like, you never cared about me. And I don't know, it seemed like Dante was being pretty, pretty nice with her. I mean, until she would start being a dickhead to him. I don't know. We still don't really understand or know what the circumstances were that she came to live with him, right? Or what her relationship with her parents was. Because it does seem like, it seemed like her parents, her relationship with the parents was not good, right? Like, I think she ripped up that one photo where they were happy together. And I think that's, she said that was like the only moment they were ever like happy, which leads me to believe that maybe, maybe they were neglectful parents, you know, like parents are just like, whatever, like super rich parents that just like leave their kid home alone all the time. But I think she's made even cuter by the fact that she's voiced by Morgana, except she's not, she's fucking not. <laughs> yeah. So you guys told me it's actually not Morgana's voice actress. Holy shit. It's not Cassandra Lee Morris. It really sounded like her. No, this is actually someone named Karina uh, Bodiger or Boediger however you say the last name uh who's a relative unknown apparently but holy crap I, I can't be the only one right who thought this sounded a ton like morgana damn i've been so off my game though lately like all these voice actors i'm like oh it's totally this one and then it's like nah it's somebody else i'm like shit man ah uh, i'm off my game i mean be fair i swear to god like this is this 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 woman's voice sounds so much like morgana i swear i bet she could do a perfect morgana impression if she wanted to but regardless whoever she is she's doing a great job as is Greg Chun and Legra Clark and all the other people in this game. The voice acting is quite good. Uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, Slowpoke said, Nico, sometimes dreams are just dreams and mean nothing. <laughs> Dimitri, so then I suppose the dreams I have of Professor Bizzalead and I marrying mean nothing. <laughs> Yusuke, I guess the same could be said for my dreams of taking Joker on a romantic date. Wait, I lied. Dreams are very important. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, you just, you struck right at my weak point. Damn it. Damn you. You're right, dreams are, dreams are incredibly important. We must listen to them at all costs, right? Right, Sigmund Freud? Yes. Oh, dreams mean you want to have sex with your mom. Okay, sure, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Seriously, you just you want to make me do a 180 on fucking anything? Just throw that shit in there. Just th throw it in where Demetri and Yusuke were like, well, you know what? I guess that I guess that means I don't have to go on a date with you. Motherfucker! God damn it. Fuck these games. But anyway, Slowpuck, thank you so much for your hilarious and, and terrible comment. And it is for that reason you are our comment <coughs> of the day. Don't even joke about that shit, man. But okay, guys, I actually have... I, I've been thinking about it, and I've got a big fucking brain prediction here, all right? Here's my big brain Uchikoshi mindfucky bullshit plot twist, all right? That I'm predicting for this game. Not really based on too much evidence. A little bit. I mean, it's a little bit, but it's very loose and... I wouldn't be surprised if it's totally not right. So my big brain theory here, I don't think Date killed Mizuki's parents. I think that was somebody else, but I do think Date might have been the Cyclops killer, like the original Cyclops killer. And I, I, my big brain theory is that they like reprogrammed him or some shit, right? Or put him on some kind of medication and basically changed who he was, right? Into this detective, but he was originally the killer. I say that for, a, a couple reasons, there are a few little things that could potentially point to it being true. Uh, one was that Iba keeps saying that it's like, oh, every time like Dante's about to get sort of violent, like he's like, I want to chuck Oda out the window or something like that. Maybe we need to put increase your medication load or something, right? 
And I suppose that could just be a joke, like, ha, 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 like he's on some kind of medication, but maybe he is. Maybe he actually is on some kind of medication. I mean, he hasn't really mentioned it yet, right? So that's sort of the thing that's sort of against it is that he hasn't really said, like, oh, I need to take some, pop some pills or some shit, right? Um, so it could have just been a joke, but okay, so that's that's like one part of it. The other part, too, is the fact that uh, P Pewter or Pooter keeps joking about it, like, well, I think it might have been you, Dante. So he's already made two jokes about it, right? And then he goes, ah, just kidding. But I actually think he might not be kidding. Like, oh, Dante was this killer, so it could have been him, right? Um, I don't think it is, because I, I think, as they've shown, there's, like, things that are breaking the MO of the previous one, the previous killer. But I just, I have a feeling that could be it here. Now, my evidence against it is, obviously, why? Why would they reprogram this this person who was a, who was a serial killer into, like, a detective and expect to trust him to do anything, right? Like, why would that be the answer to it? Why not just throw him in jail or execute him or some shit, right? It's like, no, we're going to do this insanely complicated way. To be fair, that's, that's Uchikoshi in a nutshell, right? It's like, ah, I'm just going to do some crazy bullshit. Why? Because. But it also sort of like, I don't know, seemingly doesn't seem like it would make a lot of sense to do that. But I wouldn't be surprised, too, if the whole, like, erasing his memory or something also played in, like, how did they do it? They probably maybe did something with, like, the, the Somnium or the sinking thing, right? Like somehow they did that shit. I also wouldn't be surprised if, if the, it, let's say this, this does end up being true that Iba is also playing a part in, uh, actually maybe that's it. Maybe that, maybe Iba is administering medication to Date to make sure that he doesn't, doesn't do it. And he doesn't even realize it, right? Maybe that's the point. It's not like he's, he's actually popping pills himself. Iba is saying, oh, I didn't increase your medication. Maybe she's like doing that, like injecting it into his, his brain or something. While inside of a socket. I don't know. That's, that's why he's not really talking about it. But again, the, the biggest con point of contention against this theory is why would anybody do that? <laughs> why would that be the solution to a serial killer running amok and not, you know, tossing him in jail or, or fucking executing him, right? Again, this is super, super loose theory. My evidence for it is, is circumstantial at best and could easily have other explanations or just be fucking jokes. But that's, this is me trying to step ahead of Uchikoshi to see if I can predict the big plot point of this fucking game or at least one of them, right? But like I said, I I, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point it re it's revealed that Dante was this killer or something like that and we think it was him that could have done these ki kills, but I but I think the answer is that it wasn't, right? I think that he's no longer that person anymore. But I am fully also willing to accept that I am likely completely wrong about this. I have been wrong so often with Uchikoshi and Kadaka's like big plot twists. So just take what I said with a grain of salt. I'm sure some of you are in the back stickering like, ha, they go so fucking far off, the stupid asshole. But whatever, all right? Fucking whatever. I tried, okay? I fucking tried. Anyway, let's go ahead and look around at uh, what happened to Renju here. Beer crack, beer cake. Renju's corpse is hung up by three wires. The wires were tied to the three kegs. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. Ow. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. Bear kegs on the floor. Each can, can hold 20 liters and weighs 55 pounds when filled with water. Water. Uh, menu. Stores menu. Dragon's Palace Pasta. 1,800 yen. I'll have some of that while we're here. 1,800? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? What the fuck? Stores menu. I mean, I guess it depends. That's about 18 bucks for for the west here i mean that's that is fairly expensive yeah for like a single single meal but if it's like really nice and also it's like a maid restaurant so i think the maid experience is part of it hey there's a fucking camera over here iba did you get anything from the surveillance camera unfortunately no all of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased what about backups there are none nothing was uploaded to the cloud either ah fuck you there's no footage of the incident why have this camera here at all? Damn it. No no, no jokes about popping cherries this time, Dante. Serious business. This place is up on the second floor. There's nothing out the window. Oh, okay. So we're, we're actually raised up a bit. Um, Policeman. Officers guarding the doorway. What's the status? Ain't nothing special. Oh. What about you? It, oh. Door. The club is located on the second floor of the building. We use the elevator to get here. Iba. Can you check the operation records of this elevator? Searching. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55 p.m., the weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. Hmm. 
So elevator only stopped on the second floor once last night, 8.55 PM and with about 310 pounds inside. So it sounds like probably two people then, or one relatively large man. Uh, pictures. There are pictures of girls on display. Probably the girls that are working here. What are you staring at, creeper? I agree. I'm a detective, damn it. I take my job very seriously. Pictures of me. I wonder if they smell like. Uh, damn it, Dante. Damn you, horny Dante. A barrel made of wood. Nothing special about it other than it's wood. Uh, light. It's a light that looks like a jellyfish. Probably not a clue. Or is it? Or is it the clue? Sign. Store signboard. It says sunfish pocket. Mmm. Um. Kitchen. But where to the kitchen? Uh, kitchen window. You can see the kitchen back there. Nothing looks suspicious. Damn, we're all out of clues. Absolutely nothing around here. <laughs> counter. The was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. Ugh. But no traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. We need to find his poo. Stat. Hmm. It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. Ah, oh, okay. So then subtract that from the 310 and that's, uh... I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. So 152 pounds. The person that carried Renju was 152 pounds. So he actually weighed less than Renju. That's, uh, must have been a wiry guy. Iba. Can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. Uh. Oh. Ugh. The left eye has been pulled this out. Case bears similarity to Shoko's. Yeah, no shit. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. Renju and Shoko both had their left eye taken before they were killed. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It huh. was a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. So they were knocked out. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. Sedatives were detected in Renju's body. He was barely conscious before he was killed. Uh, I can't look at the hook. Oh, ne oh yeah, oh. There are deep impressions left on his neck. Strangulation? Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. Put more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated TOD? So that was, they must have done that after they removed the eye? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renju was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. Wow, wow, really? Shit. That must mean that he was killed fairly close by, right? I mean, right, unless they just like fucking rushed over here. Chucked him on this thing. I mean, look how like elaborate this setup is. Approximately was tied up with yesterday, Saturday, around 8 p.m. He was strangled by a cloth or something similar from behind. Uh, body. The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You, of course, already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. We were? The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. That looks incredibly painful. Good thing she's not alive to feel it. <laughs> yeah. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. We're just course hanging from the ceiling beam over the counter. No fingerprints, huh? Yeah, I mean, like, granted, I, I mean, one reason, of course, to what say I would, I Dante's not the killer, right? Is that we've been with Dante this whole time, right? I don't think if it was two hours that he died. Right? We were all there. Like, we, we've been with Date. I don't think it's ever really cut away. Except, well, I guess it cut away at one point when he was like, when it went, to, when it flashed forward, when he went to go see. No. No, that was when we, after, when we found the body. What happened before that? Yeah. Before that, we were, I was talking with Mizuki the whole time, right? And doing the deep dive into her brain. So, yeah. Oh, right eye. The right eye is still there. 
Oh, I see the red thing. The exit was uh, blinking. That was nice to indicate. Okay, you're all done. <laughs> Nothing left. Renji weighed about 160 pounds. He was definitely murdered somewhere else than, ca than carried here. Uh, another inspector. Hope he found some clues. Any leads? No, we didn't find anything today. Uh, what's your name? What? <laughs> it's him again, isn't it? I was asking for your name. <laughs> My name is Kagami. Oh God, here we go again. Dante, this isn't the... No, this is absolutely the time for this, Mizuki, all right? You've been a through traumatic experience. So time for me to do some hilarious bullshit with this random guy whose name I don't know. What's your name? It's Kagami. What is it? Kagami. What is it? I told you it's Kagami. I told you my name like five times. Why do you do this to me? Hey, I of course remembered his name. His name is engraved in my mind. His name is. Hey, you. What's your name? <laughs> so, such an asshole. Seriously? It's Kagami. <laughs> Stop bugging him. It's rude. <laughs> Thank you, little girl. Thank you. What the fuck? Excuse you. My best friend, uh, Kagami, and I are having a conversation. Yeah, don't spoil our fun. <laughs> what? What? <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a twist. That was what? What a twist! <laughs> I actually got an achievement for it too. Fuck yes. Yeah, don't spoil our fun, little girl. <laughs> oh my god. We were just joshing each other. We're best friends now. Holy shit! Now that's the biggest twist, biggest Uchikoshi twist I've come across in any of his games. Damn, I didn't see that shit coming at all. Fuck. This is what I mean, guys. I never, I never see coming. All right. I never get, I never get this shit right. <laughs> hey, are you getting enough rest, Kagami? Kagami? No, not these past few days. I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? We'll go on a date together later. You too, Detective Date. Ah, uh, turns out we're actually best buddies. <laughs> Yay! Victor's investigating something. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love Mizuki says something. And he's like, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Mizuki. Mizuki. Don't spoil our fun, all right? Mizuki's looking at the spot where he found Renju. Hey, are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. Are you really okay? Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? So he acts tough, but deep inside. Yeah, notice anything strange? Um, hmm. You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. What's your name, Mizuki? What's your name? Jeez, you're pushy. Pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Besides, do hmm? Oops. Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she going to say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. Huh. I'm not sure. Uh, you can leave if you need to. I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene? I think it's totally weird, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> in fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. Shut up. But this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want to be weak. To punch the shit out of this guy who killed her daddy. Do you remember what you saw uh, last? God damn, stupid menu's in the way. How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Not until the day I die. Oof. Uh, wait, I saw something green. Wait, wait, what is it? Oh, trident. Is that a spear? It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. Poseidon's trident. I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? No, there are no traces of blood on the trident and no indication that Renji was stabbed. 
There's a few of them. A trident. Doesn't like it has anything to do with the case. Uh, is that everything? Box. Wait, box? I look inside the wooden box. There's nothing in there. Oh, <laughs> there's apparently a box. That I can barely see it. It's so dark back there. Oh, there's another trident over here too. There's tridents everywhere. Big. Sh this, this guy decided to kill him by strangulation. Now with all the pointy, sharp, murderous shit here. Oil drum. The oil drum must be some kind of interior decor. The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Well, let me check inside. Uh, X-ray. Uh. Ooh, I spy with my little eye a watch. What? There's something inside. I stepped up to the drum. This is the oil drum. Yes, I know. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. This is... Renju's watch or something? This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. Yep. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. How did this get here? Good question. Oh, oh, he transported we checked everything we need to in the oil drum. But if that were the case, if he transported him in the oil drum, then that would have been there would have no way that somebody else would have been on that elevator, right? Maybe they were brought in. Maybe he was brought in an oil drum and tied up and they didn't know he was in there or something. I, I don't know. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Well, then do so. You're just standing there, damn it. Just because your dad died, you have a reason to sit there and not be mopey. God damn. Get over yourself, Mizuki. Do you want to talk to Oda? I don't know why I'd ask her that. Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. Look at this little douchebag. What the fuck is he doing in this? Oh my God. Why do you hang out with him, Mizuki? I pity him. I'll call him. Oh, it's his phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. <laughs> he dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at Mizuki's face. She actually has a puppy <laughs> We'd have to talk to him in person. Who the hell? I want to know who actually does that. Who makes a puffy face in real life that when they get angry, they go. <laughs> uh, I don't know, because they'd be my best friend in the whole world. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. Any place you can think of that I don't know about. Well, there is one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the entertainment district? Daddy used to go to a place called Marvel a lot. Maybe they know something about him. Like gambling or something? Do you want to talk to Iris? Yeah. Daddy owned Lemniscate and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. So she might know something. I'll call her. I was thinking she calling Iris, but there was no answer. She's already dead. Well, she did say she was going to die. Idea where she might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Yeah, she's a fucking weirdo. I don't want you hanging out with her anymore. Uh, all right, let's get the fuck out of here. Lemniscate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. Let's go, team. Oh, shit. I go to all the places. Cool. Well, I imagine we're going to have to go to all of them at some point anyway. Unless this is like a, a choice moment here, too. Uh, so we'll just start from the top. Mashashita Diner. Let's go see Oda and his weird mom. But first, to the Mustang. Boo! Sunday. Hello, welcome. You're Mizuki, right? Oda's friend? Yep. And you... Oh, I suppose I should introduce myself more formally. I'm the weird one-eyed guy that showed up earlier. At least something a little more than flashing your badge. I'm a cop. My name is Konami Date. Mr. Date, what can I help you with? <laughs> Give me your best meal, if there's anything good here. Uh... Well, you may stay on the other side of the counter. Where's your husband? I completely forgot. I wonder where he got off to. I feel like he's dead. <laughs> I feel like he's dead and she's like, either got Alzheimer's or she's like, or in denial or something. But he'll come back soon. 
He always does. Runs off, then comes back. I'm beginning to have doubts about the management of this establishment. I as well. Hey, baby, you're looking gorgeous today. Oh, stop, you charmer. <laughs> oh, wait, you're my husband! Uh-oh. But you're not getting a discount out of me. Fuck. I knew you were a pedo, Dante, but I didn't think you were a cougar hunter, too. Jesus Christ, Mizuki. I am neither of those things. Get away from me! Uh, Soda here? He went out early this morning. I don't know where. He's over there practicing his, practicing his ninja stances. Yeah! 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 I see. Get a job, Oda! Took my business card out of my pocket and handed it to Miyumi. Sorry to be a bother, but when Ota comes back, can you tell him to contact me? Oh, well, sure. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, got it. Date, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, let's go. Oh, that was fast. Wait, there's still other things to say. Any recommendations? Oh, everything here is delicious. But my personal favorite is our omelet rice. Did you want to eat here? Yes. No. I don't have much of an appetite. How's your stomach? Same. I don't think I can eat right now. Uh, kitchen. See kitchen area past the counter. The counter. Disposable. Anything funny? Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. Oh, this thing again. It says fermented Mayumi juice. Ew! Now let's figure out what that juice is. That's gonna lead to an achievement at some point, right? Refrigerator. Looks like a refrigerator. There's a dead body inside. Beer cases. Microwave. Uh, Mizuki. Have you been here before? Yeah, I am friends with Oda. Yeah, I don't understand that. Why again? I've been here a few times. So you stand next to me. She's fucking tiny. Stool. Low table. Poster. Hey, Date, why do beer ads always have girls in bikinis in them? Because boobs sell beer. Because they make you thirsty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's an amazing answer. Because they make you thirsty. <laughs> that's an amazingly horny answer. Hey, I, the horny guy. Why? I'll tell you when you're older. Beer out of the wall. Making me thirsty. Mm. Okay. Uh, cushion. A riddle. What oh, is God the damn it. between a cushion and you, Date? Fuck, what? I don't know, what? Nothing. You're both soft and get thrown around. Fuck you. That wasn't bad. I'm getting better with the jokes. Also, fuck it. Rip, rip, rip my eyeball and just chuck it across the room. Yubi just gasps like, oh my God. It looks like a chocolate button with legs. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a chair. Mmm. <laughs> oh, good, more slippers. And what do they smell like? Ugh. <sighs> Photo. Family photo. Swinging door. A singing door. A swinging door. God damn it. Or that stupid shit. A cordless phone. Ring, 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 ring. Well, the phone's ringing. Are you going to pick it up? No, it isn't. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, wait, menu. Kuroda Kazuaki's shin meat pickled in miso. Ugh. What is wrong with this restaurant? <laughs> no wonder nobody's ever here. <gasps> Kitty! Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, Iba was saying that if you meow in front of a lucky cat, you'll have good fortune. Oh, hey, she, he actually remembered that. I wonder if that's true. Here we go. No, I didn't do it. Ah, oh, come on. I was so set up for that. <laughs> All right. A window. It says good luck. <laughs> good luck. You're going to need a Dante calendar. It's November, but that calendar says January. Look closely at it. Even though your year is wrong, this is old. Clock. Hands off those hands. <laughs> Just kidding. Use the same joke yesterday, lady. Didn't she say the same thing yesterday? <laughs> she did. <laughs> she did. It's interesting to see, like, I like that there's actually some carryover, because, like, I could have easily just ignored that, right? And I, I don't imagine if I'd looked at it now, I would have said she said the same thing yesterday, right? At least I hope not. Although that would be a lot of work to, <laughs> to put that in there. Here's stop turning. Not, not unlike Miyumi. Autograph. Oh, it's Nasibo from that band Magnusville. I have no idea who that is. Why do you know? Some celebrities autograph. Okay, I think we've gotten everything. All right, that was a whole lot of nothing, but hilarious fluff dialogue. To the Dante Mobile. All right, Lemnus Gate. Now let's watch as the car drives by in that same camera angle. 
Here we go. Ready? At some point, we're going to drive by and Dodge is going to give us a high five. Whoosh, ah. Rip our arm off. Let him escape. We're going to run a fucking ace oh, here, too. Hey there, handsome. Oh, my God. Big booby lady. Ah. Oh, my God. We couldn't really tell before. We just had to go off what Dante said. He's like, there's a, a giant pair of boobs on that counter over there. But she was so far away, I couldn't really see her. But yes, that she is uh, definitely very well endowed. Excuse me? I cannot even right now. I cannot even. Look at this. Uh, oh, my God. Seriously, ma'am. Ma'am, are you, is your back okay, ma'am? Hold on. Give me just one sec. Mizuki, do you know this guy? Yeah. Can you introduce me, please? Ah, <laughs> uh, I was here the other day. She is surprisingly unprofessional for a receptionist. I introduce me? I'm a yeah! Come on, it's just not so bad. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Could you contain yourself for five minutes, Doctor? I just want to get laid. I'm a fuck. All right. I can't be with any girl because you're always there with me. I got to take my eye out in order to fuck a girl, all right? That's just, that sucks, all right? It sucks. You suck. Get out of here. Well, Mizuki, are you going to do it or not? Do you know this receptionist? I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> she looks so like, like, ha huh? Yeah, of course we know each other. We're like best friends. <laughs> uh, best friends? <laughs> We hang out. We party. Oh my God. The voice that whoever's voice this receptionist is doing an amazing job. We do not party. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, girl. <laughs> I'm scared, Dante. Who hired this woman? <laughs> Your dad. The most likely scenario is that the final decision was made by the head of the company. Renju. Oh yeah. Zuki's staying next to me, terrified. Hey, baby. Hope you don't mind if I look at your reception desk and your giant tracks of land. Logo. Company's logo, Lemon Escape. Abstract painting, split in the wall. This painting is called Hawaiian Dishes and Dark Demons. Huh? Which part is supposed to be a dish and which part is supposed to be a demon? Whoa. There's incomprehensible abstract painting split on the wall. Plant. Pot of plant. Look, a cricket. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, she really likes bugs for some reason. <laughs> oh my god. I've had a strange fascination with insects. I have noticed. A potted plant is actually in her, like, her little wiki file or whatever. Oh, hey, we got some updates, too. <laughs> oh, Inspector, he got added! Holy shit! Wait. Yeah, let me see. Uh, yep, likes insects at the top of her thing. Spiders and crustaceans. Uh, oh my god! A Araya Kagami. Or Kagami, male, 30 years old, July 20th. An officer working for the CSI unit of MPD. Likes ear picks, dandelions, afros, casarin, pasarin. What the fuck? What What even is some of that shit? Ear picks? Is that a plan or does it mean he likes picking his ear? Just like people who don't remember his name. Cilantro, ginkgo. Well, he says that, but I think he's kind of sundary for it. Uh, hobbies, train surfing, extreme ironing. <laughs> Skills, pretending to be dead. Overview, an expert in investigator and an expert inspector with remarkable skills. He was assigned to the new Cyclops serial killings. He's actually really cute when he takes his mask off and he's single. Oh my God. Damn. Dante about to hit him up later. Oh yeah, what was this shit? A set, you bet. A kind of call and response game that A set plays with their fans. Japanese idols often create a special cheer slogan for their fans to memorize and chant at concerts. Cheer works at A set announcing a category and having her fan come up with two words that rhyme with A set in that uh, category. The fuck? Fucking weirdos. Shovel Forge, not Minecraft. Oh my God, yes. Totally not Minecraft at all. A masterpiece sandbox video game, which you create structures by stacking cubes on a map. A sandbox game refers to games in which there's no story or goal. A player just relax and play. The name Shovelware is Forge is a parody of a popular game in the same genre, which I will not mention for legal reasons. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, come on. Like, they give a shit. You use, you use Minecraft fucking assets and shit. They don't give a crap. Emo, emoing. All right, there's like a billion things in here. We'll look at it later. I, I, I'm emoing out right now. Monitor. Oh, this is Dark Zone Kalimas. Who? Apparently, this is Dark Zone Kalimas. Kalimas. Which one? Is it the Is it the Virtue's Last Reward Easter Egg? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. Is it there? Wait, is it gone? Sorry. Oh no, there it is. Yeah. A door. It's probably an office back there. Vending machine. 
Full of drinks. High table. High. It's a high stool. Why are you always thinking about high school? I said stool. <laughs> we had this joke already. Magazine. Lots of magazines in that rack. Featured how to draw cute anime girls. Yeah. Go give that a look. Uh, blank monitor. It's monitor. Nothing's on it. Sofa. <laughs> what the fuck? Captain. Enemy vessel. Three clicks. I believe you are thinking of sonar. <laughs> oh my god. Stop. Stop. No more puns. I can only so many puns I can take. Large window. All right. Let's talk to the weird receptionist now. Look. There's receptionist sitting behind the desk. Rece Here we go. The receptionist with huge boobs sitting behind the desk. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting. There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Huge breast. Breast. Boop. There's a huge breast sitting behind the desk. More. Mmm, yeah. All right, you see Oda? Ota. Ota, what the fuck is that? Nah, I haven't seen him today. How is he? He's dead. The receptionist knows Ota too? Ota happens to be the kind of otaku who actually has social skills. Yeah, I don't believe that. Those are the ones you have to watch out for. <laughs> huh? Huh? Nothing. Anyway, could you give me a call if Ota shows up? Ma'am, we're in Japan. Where the fuck are you from to have this accent right now? I have my number here. Take my business card and hand it over to the receptionist. Oh my god. Let us pray that the privilege will not be abused. Let's pray that it does. Oh yeah. Gonna get hooked up. Uh things are pretty serious around here, right? Yeah, totally. You never think about like my boss getting murdered, you know? It's like holy shit, like what are the odds of that? It's so fucking weird, right? I mean, dude, like have you ever had your boss get murdered? I don't think so. Like, what are even the chances? <laughs> I mean, like, dude, isn't that right, Mizuki? Is it crazy your dad's dead and your mom, too? Like, what the fuck? That's like the odds of hitting the lotto. Oh, my God. But I was kind of lucky in a weird way. Some of my old friends hit me up asking about it, you know. Feels like we're old alumni or something. Yeah, change my mind. Never mind. I don't, I don't want this woman. <laughs> she certainly found the bright side of this situation. Mizuki's just standing here like, what the fuck? That's fucked up, lady. What's going to happen in the office? Oh, I haven't heard anything about that yet. The VP might take over. We might get absorbed by another office. Just when I got a job, too. Man. What am I going to do if this place closes up? Like, what, what am I going to do? Like, freaking So, anyway, tell me, Date, what kind of girls do you like? <laughs> mm. Because I'm the committed type, you know? Would you consider me a candidate? Damn! Fucking hell! Is it the heterochromia? Is that turning you on? Well, I... I... We could go out some <laughs> Yeah, look at that, yeah! Wow, dude. Fuck you, alright? I'm lonely and horny. You disgust me. <laughs> you disgust me. Fuck you! Oh, uh, my apologies. Never mind. T no. Hit me up later. Have you seen Iris? Iris? You mean Asa? She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. Oh, that's why she didn't pick up the phone. I thought she was dead. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. Don't! No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. For sure. What? What? <gasps> what? For sure? As in, I got you? I don't believe I've ever heard that sequence of sounds spoken out loud before. I'm scared! Hold me, Dante! You're holding me already. You're inside me. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. Mizuki, let's go. Staying here would be a waste. Yeah. Where should we go next? To the only place we haven't been to yet. Oh, hey, the receptionist got added. Damn, 36. She's got the boobs of a goddess. <laughs> Rusuko Enshu. Lemon Escape's receptionist likes yellow spotted river turtles. That's the only thing she likes. <laughs> Dislikes men that act like ballers, but are really scrubs. Oh my God. Hobbies, gambling, and partying. Skills, anti-aging techniques. She's let Miss Gay's receptionist. She likes men that are real bros and can vibe with them from the jump. Lately, her shoulders have been stiffening up on her, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Her shoulder and her back has really been giving her problems. I wonder why. Wonder why. 
Oh, by the way, you guys did also tell me. So you can actually go back. So if I go back to... Okay, not that, not that one. Uh, wait, oh, maybe it is that one. Reopen investigation. There we go. I uh, I could be more specific about where I want to go. So there, it actually does give you a fair amount of flexibility about where you want to go in the story. So if I miss something, I could always just hop back and and check it out. Some like some bit of fluff text or something. So okay, cool. All right, awesome. I just I just didn't explore enough. I was kind of afraid to click one of these options because I was afraid I was just gonna like immediately leave like where I was. And I, I'm guessing begin is that's just to start all over again, right? Uh, okay, let's get the shit out of here and now go to Golden Yoko Yo Yoko Cho, Yoko Cho. I can imagine that Mizuki's in the front seat just jamming a kid's bop. <laughs> yeah, I want candy. Do, 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 do. I want candy. God, he's over here in the first seat like, God damn it, I swear to God. I swear <laughs> Turn that motherfucking shit off. I like this song, Dante, you fucking simp. <laughs> Turns it, just like, I want candy. <laughs> God damn it, this kid. Is this it? Yeah. You know about this place? Yeah. This is where I met Renju for the first time. Interesting. Didn't think this was your kind of spot. This place is special. You can find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. So that's why. That is only a partial truth. Shut up. Huh? Let's head inside. Nothing. I'm just talking to my eyeball. It's fine. What in the hell is that painting up there? Ow! Where is everyone? They have arrows stuck in them. It's been like this for a while. Not many people come here anymore. So it's like a Yakuza bar. Mama should be here soon, though. Okay. Hey, Mama. This is like Santana. Oh, yeah. In other news, there's a black magic woman. At 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. Fuck. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Ow! Picture on the wall. It's a little odd. Yes, no, no kidding. It's very painful. It's a poster on the wall. The talented Mr. Dickley. A the t really? God, I fucking hated that movie. Anybody ever? Did everyone see the talent, the talented Mr. Ripley with uh, Matt Damon? Oh God, I fucking hate that movie so much. It was so such a painful fucking movie to sit through. Like it wasn't like it was poorly acted. It was just so weird, so weird. And everybody in the movie is stupid as fuck, except for Matt Damon. Although Matt Damon is also kind of crazy in that movie. It's like, ugh, just. Ugh. It's like one of those movies that I generally regretted watching. A flyer. Funny, they, they spelled flyer with an I up here. And then, they, then I click on it and it says with a Y here. Hey, it's the joke. Files on the counter. Let's, let's count them. Yeah. Nine. Nine bottles. There are nine bottles on the counter. Nine. Nine bottles. Ah, ah, ah. Wait, no. Ten bottles. Ah, ah, ah. Just kidding. There's 18. That's how many there are. Let's count carefully. There are 18 bottles left on the counter. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Wait, no. 19. Fuck. Fuck. Dante, are you at? Damn, I'm pissed now. The menu is writing on the back. God, how many counters am I examining in this episode? The bar counter. Sofa. Uh, table. Table from the sofa. Blackboard. Specials are written on the chalkboard. Slippers and tomato soup. Oh, yeah. That's where they dip their feet in the soup. This is definitely a special kind of bar. <laughs> uh... What? Nothing funny? Is that from the counting stuff? Hanger? What's the mood lighting? Shell. I could use a drink. Oh, give me some that shit. No, you're driving. Can't you just drive? Indeed I can, but I refuse. Why? Nothing good comes of you being drunk. What are you talking about? I'm a great I'm a great not dad. Files back on the shelf. Was like, Dada come here to drown his sorrows away or some shit? Hey, Mizuki. You mind cleaning some of your stuff out of the fridge at home? Not gonna happen. Refrigerator. <laughs> Got all your junk in there. All those dumb fucking frozen popsicle sticks that, that were like in plastic or whatever. That basically just like frozen flavored water or some shit. Anybody remember that? That's a true cheapo popsicle stick. There's music playing out over the radio. 
Uh, ooh, beer tap. Beer tap. I don't want to get drunk. I just want to be sobriety impaired. Yeah. Allow me to ruin your stupid joke before you say it. Shut up. It's not stupid. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Mizuki's gonna laugh, right, Mizuki? Mizuki? It's TV on the wall. Date, what was that weird show you used to watch? The one with the girls running in slow motion. Baywatch. What was so good about it? Slow motion. Everything. <laughs> you, you know. No, I don't. You will know. There's a TV on the wall. Everything. Everything was good. Uh, bar stool? Yes. A stool. A mazuki. Mizuki's sitting next to me. Uh, are you tired? No. <laughs> no, butthead. And what do you mean by that? Nothing. Just let me know when you're tired. You can go home anytime you want. You aren't really worried about me. You just think I'm annoying, right? Well, yeah. I'll... Don't beat around the bush. Just say it. But you know what? It wouldn't matter anyway because I'm not going home. Uh, having fun at school? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Is it? Yup. Yup. Do you have a lot of friends? Yeah, but I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. I don't know if they're too immature. You're just very mature for your age. You think so? The kids at school are so stupid. They gossip about who had their first kiss for days. I don't see why that's anyone's business. These grade schoolers move fast. <laughs> He's like, what? No, nah, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. Well, you... You haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? No, I'm not interested in that. Don't say, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I, love it when I, I love it when I call some shit out like that. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> we said the... I just like it that we said... It was just the exact same thing. We just said it the exact same way, too. <laughs> Uh, that's some bullshit powers right there, baby. <laughs> Still though. <no. laughs> I'm glad he said it that way. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, about Renju. Hey, Date. What did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? Girls. Hmm. I don't remember a lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Don't worry. I have everything recorded. Ah, fuck. In fact, the conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here, at Marble. Really? Really? The topic was brought up several times afterward, but the first time was here. Four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. That's right, it's when I lost that bet. At the time, Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemnisgate, and mentally unstable. It was a display of excellent judgment. It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. You think so? Sometimes, I don't think it was the right move. You should have more confidence. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. I hate Kizzo and I hate her. Let's hope so. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so... Basically... He was in a terrible place, and he felt like he would be a terrible parent to Mizuki, so handed him off to Date. I really thought Date was going to be a better example. Look how weird I am. It's been a long time since we did this. Did what? Went on a Scooby-Doo-like investigation. We sat at a table together like this. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? Well, yeah, I guess that makes me your de facto actual dad now. I don't need that. Date, this is where you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. Shut up, Iba. You're just a weird robot eyeball. Data suggests that children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. Yep, she hates me. The meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. Yes, yeah, so there's sufficient nutritional content, but it tastes like ass. Mizuki, we should at least have one meal together. We're gonna do it right now. I told you, I don't want to. You're gonna eat your fucking Flintstones chicken nuggets. Why not? Because... Um... I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. Really, now? People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. Yeah, that's right. Beautiful chopstick holding. It's disgusting. 
too clean. Besides, there's no point in eating together. Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. Oh, well, we don't have to be quiet. It's fine. I don't like hearing you talk either. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I feel kind of bad because he actually is trying, but she's just like, yeah, fuck you. It's like, good God. I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. Oh, this is going to be rough. Why? Why did it have to be a ref for the worst part? Dante, honey. Long time no see. Well, hello there, Mama-san. Hey, Mama. How have you been? Oh, tired and sore, but not in a fun way. <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. Oh, who is this? Renju's daughter. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, you're... I... Oh, it must have been hard. I saw on the news. It's okay. Really. Oh, it must have been so hard. Stupid Ren. What was he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? <laughs> hey, Mama. I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. Oh. I guess crying isn't going to solve the thing, is it? Go ahead. Ask away. I'll help any way I can. Suki's curling up a little. Maybe she's intimidated by Mama. Be intimidated by Mama? About Mama. I heard that shady characters hang out here. So who are you and how do you fit in? I'm a shady ass character. Look at me. No one special. I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Oh, okay. Mama's like uh, an informant. That's right. And I won't charge you this time. Just promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. Oh yeah, you bet your ass, Mama. Right, this is for Renju. I promise. Gotta get him good. Uh, are you scared of Mama? Not really. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through mm, 65. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a pretty wide range. That is a wide range, Mama. Damn. I'm gonna get around. Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see Masuki go, ah! I think I'll ignore that one. I think I'll ignore it as well. And <laughs> like, I will remember this forever! This is your first time at a place like this. Yeah, I mean, at some fish pocket they served alcohol, but... I've never been to a bar like this. Well, I would hope not, you're in elementary school. Well, Daddy invited me along sometimes, but I was too shy to go. Good call. I was planning on going one day... when I was old enough to drink. I wanted to go to a bar with Daddy. Is the drinking age in ja Japan 18? I think it's actually, I think it's 18 about everywhere else except for the US. You seem to be, to be wary of Mama. Oh God, I have to re-examine everything. This is a painting of St. Sebastian. Yes, I do. St. Sebastian was a faithful Christian who lived under Roman Emperor Diocletian. On January 20th, 288 AD, he was martyred. This painting depicts his execution. Ow. Something wrong, Date? You're staring awful hard. Nothing. Just caught my eye. Why now, of all times? That's been hanging there for a while. Really? Yeah. It was a gift from Ren a while back. I've always had it there. Huh. Ping of St. Sebastian. Apparently it was a gift from Renju. Interesting. Poster. What flew over the... <laughs> what? <laughs> what flew over the cock's nest? Yeah. Sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is. Uh, flat fried slipper with herbs. What's up with the slippers? Oh, mama. What are you doing back there? Excuse you. What? Oh, pfft. a refrigerator box looks just look kind of like mama. That's funny. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Gulp. There are bottles of vodka on the shelf. I guess Dante may, may used to be an alcoholic or still is. A beer hey, tap. Dante, you hear the one about the drunk ballerina? No, what about her? 
she quit the ballet because she was always more interested in tap. <laughs> Bazinga. Okay, I think that's everything. Almost polishing a dry bonito fish. It's part of her daily routine. Come to think of it, I have no idea why. I think I'll ha ask her one day when the time is right about Renju. Have you heard any rumors about Renju? Anything about grudges, disputes? Is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. If you say so. Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. Oh god, the Kain gang! What? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Okay, fucking just with flashbacks. Oh god, he is too, apparently. A gang? Yeah, real rough customers. This is their turf. So Daddy was involved with gangsters. Mizuki, that company Shoko was running, were they also tied to the Kumakuras? I don't know. Hmm. How's, how's business? Not bad. Hey, that's good. I want you to keep this place open as long as you can. It makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes down. Well, then you should visit more often. I could hook you up in more ways than one. Just the one way is fine, thanks. I haven't seen him for a while. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around. Shrivel up? You look like a purple water balloon. <laughs> That's right. Care to give me a poke? Oh, fuck. I'll pass, thanks. Jesus Christ, right, Mizuki? Uh, what else do you remember about Renju? Well, there was the watch incident. Oh. I'm sure you remember that one. Watch incident? You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. It's probably this is the watch we came across? It blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Was it this watch? I bought the watch I had in my pocket. It was the one I found in the oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Yeah, that's it. Why do you have it? Was it at the scene? Ren was given that watch by his lover. It was an anniversary gift, I think. Lover? God damn it! In front of Mizuki Mama, really? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Mizuki was here. No, it's fine. But of course, it wasn't an affair. This was all after he was divorced. Daddy had a new lover. Hmm. Okay, so after divorce, gotcha. I'm gonna go take a dump. You remember where it is. Yeah, outside, right? This is a small establishment that does not have its own restrooms. Hey, Mizuki's gonna be like, don't leave me! Wait, you're leaving? Oh, <laughs> scared of me, huh? No, it's just, um... Mama, keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Don't have too much fun in there. I gave her a nod and a wave and left. Bye, Mizuki. I'm leaving forever. Leave me to go get cigarettes. Iba, get boss on the line. Got it. What's up? Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. Send someone over to pick her up. Oh. She's not at the hospital? Uh, yeah, she snuck out. I took her along while I was oh, doing fuck. some work, but I can't take her any further. She's getting a fucking pissed at me. <laughs> Understood. I'll send someone. Counting on you, boss. Are you going to leave Mizuki here? Hell yeah, like any good not dad. Yes. I can't take her into a Yakuza den. It's Yakuza, say it right. Dante. The Cuba Kurt office. Yeah. Sunday, 3.22 p.m. Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? You bastard! Oh. 
<laughs> what, really? Bird effects? Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. <laughs> Look at his cop, face. Huh? I'm a cop, and I also know kung fu. So, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? What the fuck? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. <laughs> your name's lame. What do you know about the new Cyclops serial killings? Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. And I think you know something about it. You dirty birdie. Saw it on the news. But we had nothing to do with it. Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. Oh yeah? <laughs> May you feel the same way when I knock over your precious Zen garden up here! <laughs> no! I'm gonna fucking steal your dragon here. Or this dragon. They look heavy, but I'm gonna take them. They're mine now. It's fucking evidence. <laughs> member A, member B, both dead. I love how Date awkwardly kicked the shit out of him. All right, guys, I think this is probably a good place to end things here for now, but uh, I've enjoyed this so far. Actually, I really do like the back and forth of the Date. Uh, and the voice acting is, it feels really superbly good in this one. Mizuki's voice actress is, uh, yeah, she's top notch. She's really doing a great job with Mizuki. But it's interesting. I'm liking this sort of this turn. Now we're going to the Yakuza here and seeing uh, what Renju was doing, was doing involved with them. It's like, hmm, was he betting money like or maybe borrow money from them? Uh, that's always a good idea, right? Always good idea to borrow money from the mob. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not ready to become Piggy Penguin aboard the SLP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.